Hello my viewers and welcome to Let's Play Theater of War. Theater of War is a real-time strategy game uh, by Russian developers who made a lot of good games so far. Um, I can really recommend it. It's uh, it's from the same uh, uh, people as uh, brought to you uh, that brought to you the Man of War series and Soldiers Heroes of World War, World War Two. Um, we will be um, doing a campaign. I will be doing it on the easy setting. And I'll be telling you why because this game is really difficult. Not in the sense that I can't play it on normal. But in the sense that um, if I played on normal, the let's play would become very long, specifically because I'd have to restart scenarios constantly. Uh, and I don't, don't want to do that to you guys, I just want to show you the game and have some fun with it. Alright, um, the cool thing about a campaign in this game is, is that it's uh, it's semi dynamic. You, you get a preset. Um, things to do. There's no dynamic campaign in that respect, but you do actually get to um, uh, control all the characters in your army and get to level them and change them and um, uh, generally make them uh, better at what they do. All right, I'm uh, I'm just gonna pick something. Um, I've tried Germany already, and I think I'm got either gonna go for Russia or the Allies. Uh, let's go for Russia for a change. Here we go, the USSR, the Soviets, battle orders. And we'll do this on the let's see, not with difficulty. All right, stop the advance of the enemy tank battalions. That's my objective. There's a little Russian village here in the middle of the map. And it's my first day of Operation Barbarossa. The counter attack basically against the Germans well, in advance at least, we have to stop the 13th and 14th tank battalions in the specified area and we will get 9th and 19th mechanized core units with us for that, so let's start alright, this loading screen takes quite a long time so what I'm going to do is stop the video until we get back into the game I'll and here we are this is a little village that we are supposed to be protecting. There's a little BT-7 tank driving through it. Actually a column of those. And the BT-7 <coughs> was a very um, fast tank. It was one of the fastest tanks of the entire war. And that was what made it good against German army armor. Because German armor was relatively fast, but... Um, Nothing outraced the BT-7. It had like a stop speed of 70 kilometers per hour, which is really fast for a track vehicle. It probably still is. If you think about what you can do with tracks. German vehicles typically went between 40 and 50 kilometers per hour maximum, and then you really push the engine. Получена новая задача. All right, here we are. The setup phase. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so that you can see what we have here. These are T26 tanks, led by a T27 tank. That's the thing up front here. Um, it's basically this is basically a small command tank. It's it's <laughs> it's not uh, fit for very much. Oh, there's a tree and some brushes here. All right, th these are the T26 tanks, tanks that were uh, generally used in the war against Finland and in the early stages of uh, Operation Barbarossa. Um, as you can see, you can see the squares here of the map. Um, yeah, that's that's only in the setup phase. Uh, when when you enter the game, you won't notice this. And this is our infantry. We have tr three full squads of infantry, and I'm going to try and use them as Russian, uh, which is uh <coughs> basically as expendable troops. Um, all right. What what the Germans will be coming from this corner here, somewhere around here. And I noticed from intelligence maps that and and obviously early experience with the game, um, I found that um, putting these uh, these tanks in um, around the village um, with the village as sort of a shield against early early incursion 
works best so we're gonna put the we're gonna set it up like that and we're gonna have to drag and drop here there we go come on little tank yeah that's right and you can point that way sort of so left click and drag and then just sort of right click where you want them to face there we go and I want everyone to face inward towards that gap in the village center there we are and I have another tank here that can be put to good use here we are I think I'm just gonna put it over there and the last one is gonna be around the corner here it's gonna be the surprise all right first squad of infantry we want them to be effectively in cover but near the action so um, we're gonna we're gonna put them right up here behind this little barn here and uh, I'm gonna have them face over here if possible can we no we can't not yet but that's okay we'll do so in a moment one in the middle with the command tank and they're gonna have a crucial role in luring the Germans in because the Germans obviously are ha gonna have to be defeated at some point and um, best thing to do is to keep your infantry oh we're gonna move them in this in this tree line here there we go all right okay this looks good um, we are going to have you face that way because the Germans will be coming through the, f the foliage there okay now we're gonna start combat here we go all right now the first thing I'm gonna do is pause the game and I will tell you why because if I don't these units are all going to go on AI and run about and do stuff yeah. and we don't want that we want them to hold fire and hold position for now yeah. hold fire and hold position means they don't move and the enemy tanks yeah. won't see them until it's too pretty late for them you to actually you. respond uh, at least that's the plan and we have to hold them off until our BT-7 tanks enter the field which are our reinforcements at this time okay these guys they're sitting down or at least I hope so these guys are also sitting down and I think I'm gonna have them crawl and uh, hold position hold fire and these guys are also going to crawl hold position hold fire there we go and these guys are just gonna hold fire for a while there I want them to be shown to the enemy oh and of course the command Boy, tank. yeah okay it's alright alright now this could go either way um, my experience with this scenario is that the first wave isn't too hard to get but then there's a second wave and generally your tanks have exposed themselves to the enemy so the, the enemy knows that um, stuff is gonna happen and they uh, yeah they um, they can really mess that up there we go I want you guys to lie down right now very good right you can't probably see that properly but well here they are lying down there's one guy standing up there's always that one guy yep just get down get down now you will g hit the deck soldier alright okay so we've got a patrol heading into the village they're lying down that's excellent these guys are all holding their ground specifically waiting for the enemy to push through and be annoying okay so they're oh now they're all also uh, lying down perfect that's wonderful okay now what's gonna happen is the the enemy tanks are gonna see this infantry and um, here here comes and the, and the tanks uh, they're gonna oh yeah here here one comes here comes one uh, my English is deteriorating uh, by the second probably because I'm playing Russians all right all right hold your fire just let them close close in okay you I'm just gonna pause it for a moment you're gonna hide behind these bushes micromanagement is you can really push the game when you micromanaging alright so the enemy has seen us I guess I hope that's what I'm hoping for oddly enough it's something to hope for and um, you're gonna move over here there we go Okay, the commander, the 
commander is to go with his men. No, with his machine gunner. I'm sorry. There we go. Alright, now, mo some of them are gonna move, and some others are not. Oh dear, they're already taking fire. Yeah, that's what you're getting for... That's what you're getting for... Um, spreading like that. Alright, so the enemy is gonna waste ammo on that. That's, uh, that's for sure. Alright, move over here. Okay, I think I got everyone. Oh, no, not him. Okay, move over here. Now, do it. Perfect. Okay, they're gonna hide. And basically what I want them to do is not reveal their position again. So the enemy will close. And hopefully, really hopefully, we're gonna be able to chuck some grenades at them. That will take up the first wave. And they're really... <laughs> getting hammered by the enemy. That's unfortunate. Okay, so they can see the front one here. He must be shitting his pants right now. And I think they can see the, this one here as well, to the left. Roman Miyaznikov, whatever that guy's name. Okay, I'm just gonna check what their visibility is. Oh, nope, nope, don't move. Well, move. No, don't move, don't move. Just stay there. Um, Alright, he's behind the bush. That, that one guy's in the bush. Look at all right, this one is in the bush, <laughs> which is uh, which is almost perfect. You are exposed. You you shouldn't be exposed. What are you doing exposed? Just lure them lure them in, if you will. Get behind this tree. Move it. Okay, stop moving. You guys should stop moving right now because you need to stop tanks. It's a difficult task, specifically for infantry, but these guys can hit poo. Remember that. They're not gonna hit you if you... Yeah. Okay, you lie down. Do it now. Okay. Alright, here come the first tanks. And they've seen us, probably. But that's okay. That's just fine. We can handle that. Now I'm gonna take out a grenade. And I'm simply going to wait until he hits the bush. And I'm gonna run at him and throw it. Go! There we go. Chuck it! Chuck it now! Ah, oh, he got driven over. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that happens. It does happen. Alright, you as well. You, chuck it. Do it now! You will also do it now. Alright, well, this is going worse for worse. Uh, okay. Alright, alright. Now they're, they're really mangling my infantry. I hadn't thought that would happen, but uh, it, it is happening. So I'm gonna order these guys to pull back. I've got a full contingent of infantry going their way now. And oh, they've already left the command tank. <laughs> okay. That was far from uh, the plan. Um, but okay. No, not to worry. Alright. I want you guys to move up. What can you see? You can just see infantry. Alright. You, you guys see. You can see tanks. 